Elise and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be the Jessie inspired reggaeton lento makeup tutorial. As always, after I do a reaction video of a Little Mix music video, there will always be makeup tutorials following that because Little Mix are queens of makeup tutorials. So if you want to find out how to make this, this really simple, easy reggaeton lento inspired Jessie look, then just keep on watching the video. Thanks guys. Okay, starting off, we're going to do some moisturizer and this will act as my primer as well. It just gives us like tacky stuff of my foundation to lay on and also to moisturize. For brows, we are always going to use the same product. This is the BH Cosmetics Brow Pomade in shade Brunette and this is the BH Cosmetics V10 brush. My favorite, holy grail, never going to change this product up. It is amazing. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. Now I'm going to go in with my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. This is a really high coverage concealer that also is uh, great to carve out your brows and it dries really fast so you've got to work quickly with it. And I'm just going to bring this down the eyelid so I can use it as my eyeshadow base as well. And then I'm going to set it with some Cody Airspun Powder just so it's not tacky so my eyeshadows can blend it seamlessly. Now we're going to take the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collaboration Palette and a big fluffy brush and we're going to take the colour Silk Cream from the palette as a warm transition shade in our crease. Yes. And then we're going to take the next colour which is called Butter and we're just going to take it on the exact same brush and we're just going to put it on our outer section of our eye. I don't really know the scientific name for this part of the eye, I think it's like the outer V. <laughs> Now we're going to take some colours called Firework and Mocha and we're going to mix them together on a angled brush and we're just going to focus this on that same section we had the other colour before, this is making no sense, but you just kind of have to watch and follow along. Then for the lid shade we're going to go in with the colour Pooter, Pooter, it's a weird name and it's just ever so lightly because I'm also going to diffuse it with my finger so it's not so... Dark, I guess, is the word really I'm supposed to say. And now I'm going to take the black from the palette called Abyss on a flat shader brush and I'm just going to create a shadow liner on my eyes. <laughs> now I'm excited to move on to foundation because I get to do my favourite combo of life, which is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick and the Marc Jacobs Mark Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. So basically I just wipe this all over my face and then I just dot on the Marc Jacobs when it's time. Here we go. And I just dot it. Oh, it's a bit of a lighter shade because the other one's pretty dark. So I just mix them together and I get the ultimate coverage, the ultimate shade, just ultimate slayage and I just <laughs> bounce it in with a damp beauty blender. Onto concealer, I'm going to use my Holy Grail my Maybelline Master Conceal in shade Fair on a concealer brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to create triangles under my eyes and then going to further bring it down the bridge of the nose to make it appear slimmer when I get there, maybe now would be a good time. Thank you, there it is. I'm also then going to apply it to the sides of my cheeks, just under where I'm going to contour and then I'm going to draw a lovely... Uh, footprint of a bird on my forehead um, and then on my chin and my cupid's bow to highlight and then we're going to blend it in with my damp beauty blender oh, also on the temples of course can't forget the temples guys and I'm just going to blend that in Now with some Cody Airspun powder, I'm just going to set that with my damp beauty blender as well, just so we'd have no creases and it's beautifully laid concealer. So it looks stunning all day, especially for the music video shoot. And then I'm just going to take a powder puff and put the powder all over my face as well, so the rest of the face is set. Even though the girls are wearing like body oils and stuff, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to bronze up my face with the Benefit Hula Bronzer and a multitask brush from Real Techniques which is amazing for just bronzing up the face. This is not contouring, this is just bronzing up the face to give it a little bit more colour so we're not just one dimensional and flat, which we don't want to look like ever, don't want to look like a piece of paper. Okay, and we're going to hit the forehead as well. Now we're going to take my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and a fan brush and I'm going to contour my nose to make it appear slimmer as well because Jessie's nose is 
goals and is so tiny and slim so we're trying to mimic that um my nose is still huge so it's not going to look like jesse's <laughs> and then i'm just going to contour my face now using the same palette with my contour brush from eka and this is like a flat contour brush and then i'm just going to blend it out so it's not so harsh with my stippling brush from real techniques I'm now just going to take that powder again, the Cody Air Spa Translucent Powder, and I'm just going to put that under my contour just to bake it. And now I'm going to take a lip gloss from Estee Lauder, I can't remember what it's called, so like bronze something, and I'm going to apply it on my lid to give that wet, glossy eyelid look that most of the girls are wearing um, on their eyes. And then I'm going to hurt myself with some powder from the Kat Von D Light Shade and Light Palette, just to you know, brighten up the under eye a little bit more, and then dust off the bake that we were doing under our contour and then I'm going to go and take an array of colours from the palette on a fluffy little brush and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes just so we have some like connection from the shadow that we have on top of our lid to the under eye and then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in shade Milk and run that in my waterline to darken up the eye look a little bit more throwing on some mascara. This is the Rimmel Eye Rock Mascara. It's nothing special, it's just a mascara. <laughs> Look at those lids. Oh, they're so glossy and gorgeous. I love it. I've never done glossy lids before. I'm going to take Benefit Coralista Blush, my favourite blush of all time because it's just really subtle. I'm going to take my Dodo Lashes D3117s, I believe. Don't quote me. If they're wrong, they'll be listed down below. Um, these are my favourite lashes. If you uh, want to pick it yourself up, you can uh, use my coupon code and uh, it's listed down below if you want to save some money. I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Uranus Skin Frost. This is everything. Jeffree Star reposted it on Twitter. Oh my god. A picture of uh, my product of it. Anyway, that's not to brag about it. You can follow my makeup Instagram, which is Elise Wheeler Beauty if you want to, which is different to my usual Instagram. Anyway, enough plugging myself. I'm going to highlight forever. Just every place where you could possibly put highlighter on it with a fan brush. That is what I'm doing. Um, I'm obsessed with highlighter. Now I'm going to align my lips with a red lip liner. This is an Essence lip liner. It's nothing special again. It's just a red lip liner. Um, they're cheap and they do the job. So that's, I don't wear red that often and nor do I wear lip liner that often. But uh, it's a little mix and they always have a lip liner on. So uh, once I've beautifully done this so well, I'm also going to fill in the cracks of my lips with it as well. Look a bit crazy. I'm going to take a MAC Lady Danger matte lipstick which is the one that Jessie was wearing in the video thank you to Adam Burrell for letting me know that on his Instagram <laughs> and uh, I already owned this so that was even better than I knew before <laughs> So that's how you recreate Jessie's Reggaeton Lento inspired makeup tutorial. If you haven't seen my face before and you would like to join in on my lovely family of subscribers here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn my post notifications on if you haven't already. I make videos usually every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!